wouldn't almost be funny if it weren't so damn tragic. I mean, I'm supposed to be the worldly, sophisticated one while you're the young, innocent ingenue. Yet I'm the one who told you to go to Bermuda with my boyfriend to check out our honeymoon resort. And I talked him into taking you to your near-fatal high school prom. Oh, God, how I wished you would have drowned that night. So But it's true. I pushed you and Ethan together whenever I wasn't around, thinking you were our biggest cheerleader. I even let you organize the day that was supposed to be the biggest, most wonderful day of my life. Tell me, Teresa, what was going through your head when you were designing my wedding dress, the bridesmaids' hairstyles, every last damn detail down to the napkin ring from the reception tables? What? No, you know what? I don't even want to hear it. The only thing I want from you is to call Ethan and you tell him you will never see him again. I won't do it. That was the wrong answer, Teresa. And I'm afraid you leave me no choice. I'm sure Ethan will be sad at first when he hears that you're dead. But then his life will go on. His life with me, the way it was supposed to, before you trapped your little way into it. I'm dead. That's right, Teresa. Oh, well, look at your little Ethan photo gallery. This one was taken when he was still in college, Teresa. Gosh, you've been working on your project a really long time, haven't you? It's not what it looks like. Oh, and what's this? A picture of you in my wedding gown? I mean, I'd have thought you'd want to wear your own, but... Please, I remember when I first saw the portfolio you claimed was for me. I was so impressed at how quickly you worked it all up. That wasn't the case at all, was it? You had already designed all those ideas for your wedding to Ethan. You just passed them off as mine, right? You wouldn't take no for an answer. I gotta admit, Teresa, you're good. You were good enough to take him away from me, but let me tell you this, you are not good enough to keep him. Oh.